Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. Before we get into the forecast, I've had some questions about the status of my blog, and typically each year after about April 1st, I start to just kind of sunset it to, as far as the ski season goes, but may do other topics throughout the summer, just a lot less frequently. But I just posted this uh, as a sort of a, a last blog for ski season, end of season blog status, La Nina watch, and monsoon forecast. So I really take a look ahead for you. Um, there's a little bit of analysis here. Big thanks to everybody who stopped by my blog this winter. Huge thank you. Um, I'll keep the, my YouTube channel. If you haven't seen that, check it out. There's a link there for that. There's a, I do videos. I was doing videos every single day, twice a day during ski season, and I'll probably continue that through the spring and summer on a less regular basis. But um, take a look at that. I looked at the latest uh, snowpack across the West, compared it to what I was forecasting for the winter. So you can take a look at that. A few highlights. Um, also looked at how many AR events, atmospheric river events that we had seen um, this uh, this winter season. Pretty fascinating graphic there. I looked ahead at uh, uh, we're on La Nina watch, so you might want to take a look at that. My uh, the May forecast, what to expect in May, and then the monsoon forecast for July and August. So all that's there. All right, let me just show you what I'm thinking here this uh, this afternoon as far as bullet points so spring pattern continues uh, again we're just waiting and it's it's really warming up across the west now this is what happens in april but we still have storm systems to go the next storm system 414 to 417 and there's probably a second storm on the back side that will rotate in from the north and i'll show you that coming up in the wasatch i'm forecasting moderate to heavy snow accumulation 415 through the morning of 417 in colorado moderate to heavy accumulation 415 16 17 and heavy again with that that second piece that rotates in on 419. So um, the other thing you have to consider this time of the year is the rain snow line. The snow levels are going to be going way up. Um, the Sierra is a great example of that. With the next um, the next storm system that comes in, it's going to run into some very warm temperatures and the snow level is going to be really, really far up. Okay, let me just show you um, the jet stream forecast by this, uh, this, this late today. And here it is. So this is what uh, will guide the forecast along. So big ridge of high pressure is settling in here across the west. You can see it right there. Now here comes our storm system diving south into California 413. Then it makes its move into the interior 414, 15 runs through. And then there's a second piece with a buckling northern branch that comes on the backside 17, 18, and 19. You can see the trough right there sitting across the Intermountain West. By this, it wouldn't even be done on 419. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So now everything clears away. We had a little bit of snow on the continental divide of Colorado today, but that'll clear tomorrow. Beautiful sunny skies. 412 also looks very nice. Some clouds increase over Colorado late 412. But here comes our storm system out of California. Moves into the interior, 414, 415. Here comes the piece on the back side that slides in with some moderate to heavy snow accumulation, 417. That moves down through the Wasatch and into Colorado and then it's still hung up there on 418 and even 419 potentially with some snow all the way down to 5280 in Denver. So, you know, April is a warmer month, but in between there will be storm systems to deal with. Okay, let's go and look at the latest totals that I've got. Grand total map. By late 419, numbers have crept up just a little bit for the Wasatch now looking at 6 to 10. Not a whole lot for the Tetons, but in Colorado, the central and northern mountains, we could see 8 to 16 inches of accumulation because of both storm systems. That's a combination of both. Pretty good snow through Hoggeton up the Big Sky and Red Lodge. And again, the numbers in the Sierra will be much larger if you were to be above, say, eight or 9,000 feet. Okay, let me break it down by time period. So rest of today through tomorrow, basically nothing unless you're up in BC. Here's 412 to 414 transition period. Here comes our storm system out of California and then it moves into the interior and this is where we get the bulk of the accumulation and potentially with that second storm it brings in colder air from the north with that uh, that dip in the northern branch and you can see what happens. This is when we pick up most of the snow. Okay, let's go to the northeast. I still don't have much here. Um, some rain showers coming up the next few days and then potentially some very, very light snow at the tail end of this forecast. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.